It's time for real trash. Glasses for Susan and Germany. I, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know yet, Mike. Susan might be a Third Reich loyalist. It's unlikely. Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> that was an ugly but happy duckling. <sighs> Maybe they'll eat this plumber's putty. Waterfall or vermin. <laughs> That's right, child. You should be ashamed of not getting your eyes to work right. You're just not trying, damn it. Oh, visiting their friend in low security prison. Nice. Yeah, you're not on a parade float, kids. Looks like those two little old men are flagging a waiter. Susan Snub triggered a psychotic break in Debbie, who started to believe she was a rooster. Safe. She can't see, and she's riding Manute Bull's bike. Oh, here comes the Lakeshore Limited. Look out, Susan! <laughs> oh, she almost missed the exciting new sloth exhibit. Now we'll see why Susan is the neighborhood's most feared hockey goon. This is a community of mime families? Susan's sly smile lets you know she's ready to enforce. There will be blood and teeth on the ice soon. She knows it and she loves it. Suddenly, little Susan Magoo realized the family curse would take her, too. Oh, glasses for Tim star Tim in a cool cameo. Nice. I don't think this is a vision problem. I think that's just part of the teacher's scribbled manifesto. Uh, the Rothschilds and the lizard people conspired to kill John Lennon? Before her vision started going, Susan was pulling straight D minuses, so not a lot of urgency here. Oh my god, she's putting a number three pencil and a number two sharpener. Everyone evacuate now! It's gonna blow! Duh, I a teacher person. Maybe I'm in the wrong school. Didn't learn a thing about refrigerator repair. Pilsner, Collins, and Highballs. In short, I recommend glasses for Susan. <laughs> oh, damn you, Kevin. I know. Damn you. Now, Susan, when I was your age, I was a half-blind freak like you. Okay. A cast-off with no human value whatsoever. Um, Here's a catalog of distant homes for the wretched where your parents can send you. All right! And as Gregor Samsa woke one morning from uneasy dreams, he found himself transformed into a giant insect. Why did he give me this? Yeah, fantastic. Now once I learned to read... Okay, it's decided. Contacts that make me look like I have cat's eyes. Done. Huh. Pigpen really let himself go. Whew. Pretty lame flashback. I gotta step. 
step things up. <laughs> Bought this military-grade flashlight from an infomercial. You think I got taken? <laughs> Can I see your accreditation papers, please? So, are you a fan of Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, Jose Feliciano, Blind Willie McTell, Blind Lemon Jefferson, Blind Willie Johnson? Okay! Probably should be, is all I'm saying. So when you fix my eyes, I assume 70s fashion will no longer seem garish and horrible, right? People won't appear to have long, greasy hair and leather vests. Uh, Doc? Oh, an e-meter. She's having her thetans checked. I got you for three minutes of playtime. Bones oh, off. Okay, give me the full clockwork orange, Doc. I can take it. This is the 2001 Monolith's nerdy brother. Uh, I don't deserve vision. Okay, kid, it's just the letter E. Save that reaction for when you see a Van Gogh or something. Like they're behind a beaded curtain in the back of the lens crafters? Let's see, should I get the blurry ones, the blurry ones, or the blurry ones? Hey, uh, can I get some damn help? Freaking blind second grader here. Right? Pretend to try on a few more, and they'll never suspect you got eight pairs inside your coat. <laughs> Anime Peter Graves in the background didn't sell many eyeglasses. <laughs> ah, that was fun. Now show me the real glasses, okay? Find these give off a strong schoolgirl crush on President Ford vibe. Ah, oh, yes, from our preteen spinster collection. Excellent choice. Wow, I could grow up to be a nerd. And here she is as Elton John. Elton John and as Elton John. <laughs> I'll get by with my other four senses. Thanks. I don't really have glasses yet. I'm in severe danger. Trails, I've been missing everything. This change is nothing, the social torture will continue. Yeah, the dog can't wave back, sweetie. <laughs> Maybe her eyes aren't the only problem. Tragically, they forgot to stop pollution. Damn kids, we live with the results today. Oh, sure, yeah, you can't use glasses in the classroom. That'd be like a baseball player juicing. Oh, I'm totally lost without a setting up a room type film about this room. Yeah, yeah, is, is there a block station? And if so, does the block station prevent easy access to the finger paint corner? Hey, tough choice. Put the glasses on or smash them and turn them into a shiv and get some real respect around here.
Hey, geek, thanks for drawing the heat off gingers like me. And the new glasses are broken in five, four, three. Cores box for a goal? Nice metaphor for the rest of these kids' lives. Cousin Oliver with the point. After seeing Susan play, Wayne Gretzky immediately went out and bought a pair of old lady glasses. Okay, it's fine, but time for these kids to get back to the Christmas pageant rehearsal and let Charlie Brown know what they think of his lousy tree. The glasses have made her a god. It starts with hockey, but soon all the world shall bow at Susan's corrected to almost 2020 vision. These plucky upstart kids went on to get their asses handed to them by the mighty dogs. You think it was all a dream, then a pair of glasses rolls over and kisses her on the cheek. <laughs> well, now she can see how hideous that bunny toy is. Glasses for Susan. At last, I can see the leaves on the trees. Now to spend the rest of my life making my parents feel terrible for not noticing I was blind. And that is how John Denver came to be. Goodbye, folks. Glasses for Susan. John Denver and you and Susan and forever. Things and glasses for her. Bye-bye. Copyright by Rift Tracks, all rights reserved.